Hi everyone, Kevin here from Golf Guy Reviews and in this video today, we're gonna to take a close up look at the brand new Puma Ignite Fasten 8 Pro Golf Shoes. Now, these are a spikeless pair of golf shoes that currently retail here in the UK for 99 pounds. So I'm gonna go through a close up look and let you know about the design elements of these as well as how they fit and feel. Now, unfortunately, we are still on lockdown here in the UK, so I haven't actually been able to wear these out on the golf course, but I will do a follow up review once I've actually been able to use these playing golf out in the real world. But for now, we're gonna take a close up look and check these shoes out. Now, if you do enjoy this video today, make sure you hit that like button. And if you are thinking about buying a pair of these shoes, then I've included my affiliate links down below in the description. Now, before we go any further, the first thing I wanted to let you know that these do seem to run a little bit large. So if you are thinking about buying a pair of these, then I would definitely recommend going down half a size. That's what I've done here. I'm normally a UK nine and I've got them in an eight and a half and they fit absolutely great as an eight and a half. And I think they probably would have been slipping if I went true to size. In terms of the look of these shoes, then they might actually look a little bit familiar to you. And that's because there is a lot of similarity between these and the previous Ignite NXT golf shoes. If you can see, I hold them side by side. They do share a very, very similar silhouette. They've got a very similar heel area there where it kind of comes up higher at the back. The midsole, in terms of the lines and the design, actually looks exactly the same on these two shoes. And genuinely, the silhouette does look very, very similar. However, there are some very new elements to these shoes. First of all, as the name probably suggests, there is the unique Fasten 8 fastening system. So it sounds a little bit of a weird name, to be honest, the kind of bit of clever marketing, I suppose. But for me, it's all about how it actually fits and lock down your foot. So what you've got with the Fasten 8 system is that you've got eight pieces of, I think it's nylon, and you can just see four of them sticking out there at the top. So you can see that you've got these four straps at the top of the shoe, which the laces go through. And then when you fasten the shoes, it pulls the material, uh, well I say the material, it pulls the power cage, this TPU cage, over your foot giving you a closer lockdown feel. Now we'll talk about the actual fit and feel of these in a little bit on this video, but in terms of the look and the style of the design, then I think actually, you know, it kind of integrates quite nicely with these shoes. You can see here that I've got the black and white version and you've got a few different other color options as well. Personally, in terms of the black upper, I've not got any problem with that, but this is just a bit of a personal gripe. I'm not the biggest fan of a black upper with a chunky white midsole. I just think it kind of, you know, it clashes too much. And for me personally, I would have preferred it if it was just a completely blacked out version. I think that possibly would have looked a little bit better. But you know, that's just my personal design choice, really. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the look of these shoes? They're certainly a very, very kind of sporty, sleek looking shoe. I think they'll actually look quite good whether you wear them with a pair of trousers or if you wear them in the summer with shorts. I think they'll look absolutely great either way. What I do quite like about them is some of the kind of design touches here. So first of all, you have got some textured laces, which give them a nice bit of detailing on the shoe, and I quite like that. And you can see here that you've got the silver Puma logo there on the side, and you've also got a little bit of kind of metallic right in there on the logo on the tongue. And if you take a look on the heel as well, you've got that same kind of metallic uh, material there on the back for the Puma logo as well. If you take a real closer look, then you can see there is some detail in here on the shoe here. Uh, this is the power frame element of the shoe. Uh, so with the power frame, Puma are just kind of overlapping some more material in certain areas of the shoe there, so that you get a bit more stability and structure to the shoe. And if you go to the heel of the shoe, then again, you get this kind of synthetic leather material there being used on the heel, and you have a little bit more texture on that heel tab there that you can see just slightly. Now there are two versions of the Fasten 8 golf shoe. You have got the regular Fasten 8 and you've got the Pro. So in terms of the difference there that I can see, here I've got the Pro version and you get this kind of synthetic leather material. I don't think it is leather, so I'm gonna say that it is a synthetic leather, um, but you've got this material on the upper. On the regular versions, then you get a knitted mesh instead. So something a little bit more similar uh, to the traditional NXTs that I've got here. Please excuse the dirtiness of these shoes. These have since become my uh, walking shoes here in lockdown. So they are nice and muddy and they've got a hell of a lot of use over the last year. And to be honest, they've served me really, really well. And that's why I've got quite a soft spot for these shoes. And that's why I'm holding out high hopes for the Fasten 8. 
In terms of the stability of their shoes, Puma just seem to be adding more and more technology with each iteration of their golf shoes. So initially you had this power frame, uh, which is this kind of lightweight TPU kind of area, uh, just strengthening certain parts on the golf shoe. They then subsequently added the power cage. Uh, so this was initially on the Ignite Power Adapt golf shoes, and now they've brought it over to these spikeless golf shoes as well. So again, you can see that this is quite a significant TPU saddle that's on both the lateral and the medial side of the shoes, again, to give you a bit more stability out on the golf course. And now with these latest versions as well, you've now got the Fasten 8 system too. And actually those straps go right through the shoe as well. And I believe into the midsole as well. So it really, really gives you kind of an all round locked in fit. So in terms of stability, I'm really, really looking forward to getting these out on the golf course because they do give you a nice lockdown fit. And also they do have quite a low profile. I do feel kind of quite low to the ground when using these shoes. And there is a decent amount of width on that outsole as well. So all in all, I think these could prove to be some seriously stable golf shoes. Taking a quick look at the midsole, and you can see here that you've got full length Puma Ignite midsole. Now this is a nice, comfortable midsole foam. You're gonna be able to walk the course, not a problem in these golf shoes. I'd say it's not quite as soft as Adidas Boost or Nike React foam, but it is nice and soft in these golf shoes. And you know, you do get a very, very comfortable feel with these golf shoes when you're out walking on the course. So let's take a quick look at the outsole of the shoe. And you can see here that Puma have got a outsole actually that they've used before in the past. So if I bring here my NXT Ignites, you can see that they are exactly the same outsole. Probably help if I put them the right way around. There you go. You can see that they haven't really changed anything at all. Actually looking at them, I think they are identical. Um, so yeah, there you go. To be honest, that's not an issue with me that it isn't a brand, brand new outsole because it works. As I say, I've used those shoes in some seriously wet conditions and they held up really, really well. What I do like about this outsole is that it is nice and comfortable both on and off the course. So while I wouldn't necessarily be looking to use these off the course that much, uh, because you know they look like a pair of golf shoes, I can easily wear these, you know, put them on at home, drive to the course in these, play my round of golf, and then drive back home again. So if that's something you're after, then you can definitely do that in these shoes. But you can see here, the actual hexagonal kind of design that you've got gives you a nice amount of traction. The nubs are, you know, prominent enough that they can dig into the turf, but they're they're also large enough so they are nice and comfortable off the course. What I would say is that if you are looking, you know, for the absolute most amount of grip available from a pair of golf shoes, then you're probably going to want to go for a pair of spiked golf shoes because they are just going to give you more grip. That's the fact of the matter. But in terms of using this specific spikeless outsole, personally, I've not had a problem with it in the past. So let's talk about the fit and feel of these golf shoes. And I've got to say that I actually personally quite like the fit because they are nice and soft and nice and comfortable underfoot, but they do give you quite a nice tight lockdown feel. Feeling. If you are the type of golfer that likes having a lot of kind of wriggle room in their shoe uh, and a lot of kind of space for their foot to move about in, personally, I don't think these are going to be the shoes for you. They do give you a nice lockdown fit. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't managed to use these out on the golf course yet, so I will reserve judgment until I can actually get my full review done. But for now, wearing these about the house, I do, I would say that actually I'm pretty impressed with the lockdown feeling that you get from these shoes. So if you're the type of golfer that really likes, you know, your foot to be held in place, then definitely you might want to check these out. So there you go. That's my first look at these shoes. I hope you found it helpful. So make sure you hit that like button if you did. And as I mentioned, if you are thinking about picking up a pair of these, then I've included my affiliate links below in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this video, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you did. And if you are thinking about buying a pair of Puma golf shoes, well, that's a mouthful, then why not check out one of these videos as well?